After years of denial, for the first time ever, Lance Armstrong has finally confessed to taking drugs. He made this confession in his interview to Oprah Winfrey and admitted that he took various kinds of drugs on his way to winning seven Tour de France titles. Armstrong's confession comes after he'd been banned from cycling and stripped of his seven Tour de France titles as well as his Olympic silver medal. Now, Armstrong might have been running the most sophisticated doping program in sporting history, but he couldn't have done it all alone. Armstrong's former teammates and friends turned foes testifying against the disgraced cycling legend. And uh, here are some of the key men who, in fact, nailed Lance Armstrong. Accused of running the most sophisticated doping program in sporting history, Lance Armstrong couldn't have done it alone. And his associates and former teammates have now testified against him. One of Armstrong's key teammates at US Postal Service and also served three drug suspensions said in his testimony that Lance encouraged drugs and asked him to come clean. You know, when I came up through the ranks, I came up through the ranks and in 1997 did my first Tour de France. And um, 97 was the first time doping was introduced to me. Um, you know, I, I'd worked so hard to get there. Uh, and then was presented with a difficult choice, basically. Dope or, or, or go home. Legendary cyclist and one of the most respected in USA, George Hincapie said that he was aware of Armstrong using blood transfusions from 2001 to 2005. A pivotal rider for the Postal Service team in the early 2000s admitted to have received testosterone from Armstrong in 2002. Floyd Landis also said that he helped Armstrong with blood transfusions in 2002 and 2003 Tour de France. In a more chilling testimony, current team leader of Garmin Quickstep, Christian Van de Velde has said Armstrong's weight in the team couldn't be questions, following him to step up his drug use. A maverick rider in his time, Jonathan Vogel said that the use of EPO was well known to riders of the team and they were distributed in water bottles. One of America's best time trial specialists, David Zubriski, also said that Armstrong also knew when doping officials would conduct tests and accordingly would advise the team when to inject EPOs. From one of the world's greatest sporting icons to being named a drug cheat, Lance Armstrong could soon lose the legacy he created for himself in the world of cycling. Sports Bureau, Times Now.